across in the U.S. There's about 5.1 million people that suffer from heart failure. 25 percent of those patients actually readmit back to the hospital within three months. And then about 50 percent of that population readmitted to the hospital within six months. Nearly one in five fee-for-service Medicare beneficiaries, they get readmitted to the hospital. And the cost of that um, is about $26 billion, of which about $17 billion are avoidable. University of Washington Center of Data Sciences has done a phenomenal job creating this machine learning predictive analytics tool for readmissions. What it does is it creates, it actually tells you exactly when to discharge a patient. We use a stack of technologies to make it happen. At the lowermost level, we have big data integration platforms that we use in Azure, so SQL Azure and its related components. We use a variety of virtual machines of different sizes on Azure for the modeling components. And then the modeling itself, we have started using Azure ML. So we have an external layer, then we have a communication layer, and then we have an analytics layer. Once the appropriate model is selected, it will get passed to the analytics layer where it will get scored and the score is going to come back and being converted to JSON or, or, or XML or even as, as an HL7. One piece of that deployment is an administrative dashboard that helps track the 10 riskiest patients, as example, uh, currently being seen and helping manage those risks. The second thing that we're working on now is to actually deploy the risk score. So when a patient gets pulled up into the cardiovascular dashboard, you know, along with all their vital signs, you can also see you know, their UW risk of readmission for heart failure score right there. I think um, you know, the real benefit of a, a tool like this is, is that it really is looking at what we now consider to be population management, which is not just to look at individual patients alone, but look at individuals in cohort with a, a whole population of patients. What makes the most difference is, is that you get to actually see patients getting better.